Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and Bill's here. He's the above average drinker. No, you are. You are? You are. Anyhow, <laughs> we're back with another video, so hope you guys are doing great. So glad you're here, so glad you're liking and subscribing and commenting. You're making this so much fun. Oh yeah. 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 And, and, and the hair. <laughs> oh, do you like it? I, I do like the hair. It's, it's just a different. different. It's a little different. I kind of look like a, a scruffy poodle or something. Anyway, I just felt like doing something different. I was. I, I did something different with my hair too. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling. I like yours better actually. <laughs> Mine, I don't have to do anything. I was feeling the old school Taylor Swift vibes, no, you know, okay. back from Tim McGraw days. Okay. Like when you think Tim McGraw. Yep, yep. Okay, anyhow, <laughs> we're here for a whiskey video. Yeah. And the whiskey video we're sharing with you guys today is one that everybody's ranting and braving about all summer long. Actually, the it's, last few months. It's kind of like a hate it or love it type thing. I think it's become a craze. It is, it is. So what we're, what we're talking about is Finnish whiskeys. <laughs> Finnish whiskeys. The finishing craze is on, right? Like there's so many times when different trends and things yeah, pop yeah. up. But right now, I think the big craze going on is Finnish whiskey. Yeah, and I think the biggest one is, or biggest two are probably the Honey and Amirana. Yep. Those are the, and Rum, so I guess three. But those are the big ones right now. Yeah, people but, are just into those. And, and I think, I don't know if it really kind of originated with Scotch or a lot of the, because they finish a lot or they mature a lot in some of the extra Pedro Mena. So I don't know if that's considered finishing or not, but we're considering it finishing for this case. We're finishing it. Yep. <laughs> so let's dive in. We have a lot of bottles here. Yeah. We wanted to share our favorite finished whiskeys yep. that we have on our shelf. Because because so. we do enjoy the finished whiskeys. We, yep. we like both. So we're the camp that does both. Not necessarily because there are, as we said before, there are people who just hate finished whiskey. Yeah. That's fine. Like, they want just straight bourbon and nothing else. Yep. Yep. Good old fashioned bourbon. Yep. And th there's nothing wrong with that. That's the fun of drinking whiskey. You can have it how you want, when you want, where you want. And well, we like Finnish whiskeys and we especially like them with cigars. So stay tuned for another video on that. Yep. But let's dive in. We have, I think we have 16, yeah, there's 16 like, bottles. Yeah, there's like 16 here. A lot. We just kept grabbing stuff off the shelf. It's like, oh, we like this one too. And this one, and this one. <laughs> I kind of put mine in a specific order. Mine are not. But yours are not. And it yep. doesn't really matter. So let's dive in. Thanks again for being here. We don't have anything. We're not drinking right now. No, we're not drinking right Maybe now. Maybe we had enough in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. All right, here <laughs> we go. Let's do this. You want to go first? I'll go first. Me? Okay. So as I kind of stated earlier, I'm going to pull this one out because this is one of our newest bottles is a new a Nulu honey finished um this was a pick i think this was from seal box um but i never had i think i maybe tried honey finish before at pours in the park yeah. um mm -hmm. and i was like okay i want a honey finished bottle so pick this one up and i actually love this you don't like it as much as i do but i really like this review honey coming soon you'll yes. see what i really think of these but i mean i guess now that i i like it i like it better yep. than some honey finish i definitely do like there's a line between over finished and balanced finished and this is like good it's not yep. over finished i that's where that's where a lot of these bottles come in is none of these are over over finished in my opinion and yep. that's why they're here yep. we really like them and along the same line yeah, since you already have get that the other one out, out there we bought at the same time so we got this one this is the amburana i really enjoy this amburana it's really good it's really balanced it's not over finished it's literally like a cinnamon toast crunch in the glass it's really really good very sweet so very you have sweet. To, very sweet. So you have to like that, but it also has enough cinnamon punch in it to keep you like really satisfied. Like so. I actually think this is more sweet than that honey one, personally. I, I think you were the opposite. I definitely was the opposite on that, but still, I think it's really good. Maybe we could practice blending them together yep. to come up with this one. Oh, yep, next one. The next one on the list, well, <laughs> I mean, it just led right yeah, into it. Yeah. How could I let that go? And that is Penelope Rio. This is honey and amirana finish. Super good, a lot of fun, super wild, super unique. Definitely very, 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 very sweet. If you haven't seen yep. my review on it, it's very sweet, but it's really good. And it's a lot of fun. And again, these finishes are super fun. Yeah, yeah, that's where it, where some of these blenders or tasters or whatever can just have some fun with stuff is when they're doing some of this. Um, and yeah, this one's very unique. It's. It's a explosion of flavors in your mouth. <laughs> it's definitely it's like Skittles. Explosion. Taste the rainbow. But it doesn't taste like Skittles. <laughs> no, no, no. No, it doesn't no, taste it like tastes Skittles. it tastes like those other two we just had up Honey, there. Honey, cinnamon, together. toast, crunch, deliciousness, yep. breakfast. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's so good. we got a lot, so let's keep moving. Um, All right. Let's go to another crazy... Yeah, we're along the same lines. Okay, well, we're going to end up. This one yeah. isn't crazy, but this is a good one. The This is the newest barrel dovetail, and this is one they, they sent to us. 
Um, mm -hmm. And we tried, I think we tried this on a live stream. Yeah, we were shocked. And because I was like, holy crap, this one's so different than the previous one we have. Yeah, we like this one a lot. And that's because the, the rum in this one is, it stands out. It, it does. It, it overpowers the port and cab finish in there, which I don't taste that much. The rum comes through more on this one, which I love. It's very balanced. Yeah. Again, very balanced, very good finish. And it, this one goes really well with the cigar. It does, it I does. Like it. Well, I gotta a lot stop, of these do. I gotta stop putting those in there because we're gonna yeah. do a video on that soon too. Yep, yep. Yeah, and, and I think, I don't think we have, I guess we have some port and stuff, finish stuff in here, but we, I don't think we have any Cabernet finish because we, we have some Cabernet finish stuff, but we just don't like it as much. No, it's usually really drying to yeah. us, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna keep trying because you never know. You might not like one, but you might like the other. So you can't judge a book by its cover. Yep. Oh, that so, yeah. rhymed. Okay. Barrel dovetail. Well, speaking of barrel, while we're on the barrel train, this is one I love. This yeah. is one that really I, stuck out to me my first year of drinking whiskey, and that's the barrel seagrass. It's wild. To me, this tastes like a spree. It's so good, so unique. Perfect summer pour, honestly. It's really oh, good. Oh, yeah, it is. It, it is tastes for like sure. a, a yellow spree. But Might it's, have to have some of this later. I know. I was going to say, I really, <laughs> I, we got to go back to it because we haven't drank it in a while, but every time we do, it tastes really good. It's yep. like a yellow spree, some apricot, really good, again, sweet flavor, but it's just so unique and the finish is fantastic. So that's why it's on this list. Yup. All right. Moving on to the next one. Um, I got to order these so I don't knock them off. The let's pull out some scotch now for me. Scotch. So again, as I said earlier, I don't know if it's considered finished because they're matured in sherry barrels and all kinds of other stuff. This is a Glendronic uh, Cash Strength Batch 11. So this is, I think, the newest one they have. Um, oh, haven't drank a whole lot of it, but when you get me a sherry finished scotch that's Cash Strength, I'm in love. It's I'm really in love. Good. Of course, this one's not peated. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great bottle. Um, I don't think you've had too much of this. Um, I think I might have had a little sip of it, but honestly, it's really good. Is there a glass around here? Not, not, not a clean one. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, pour a little bit in my mouth so I can try it. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's a delicious bottle. So if, if you do like scotch and you can find the Glendronic uh, Cash Strength Batch 11, it's phenomenal. I think we paid around 100 bucks for it in the store. Yeah. So yeah. I really like the Glendronic yeah. too. I got some more scotch on this too, so. I, I do yep. like scotch, by the way. I do. Yep. I just don't. I just don't have any on my side. But let's go on to something else. I would like to call this like the OG finish. Uh, I wouldn't call. It, maybe. Maybe. I'll pull out the OG finish here in a little bit. Oh, At least okay. what I think is. Okay, that is a good one too. Yeah. I think this one is old school, original, great. This is the Old Forester 1910. This is a toasted finish, and it's really good. And the price of this is unbeatable. It's a really uh, good price. I think price. they're like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, yeah but range. it's so good. It's so delicious. Toasted marshmallows in a glass. Really good toffee. I really like it. I really like it. It's good and sweet. And you can drink it longer because it's a lower proof. So you can have a few more pours of it and not get totally smashed. Yeah. Which is nice. <laughs> so I like this one. Yep. All right. So, as she kind of said, OG, I consider this kind of the OG of Finnish whiskeys. Well, I call that the OG of cigar blends, and well, it is the it's, OG it's of... it's a Finnish whiskey, but yeah, I mean, it's the Joseph Magnus cigar blend. Um, the, so the cognac, good. the sherry, what else is in there? The Armagnac. Yep. It's just, it's so that's so damn good. Any bottle we get, we've had that we'd like. I mean, any... We've, <laughs> we've tried a couple different bottles, and we have two different batches. Like, this is 130, I don't remember. 97. I don't know what the one is. The other one we has. I just grabbed one off the shelf. It's good. Yeah, so you can't go wrong with a Joseph Magnus cigar blend. I haven't tried what I don't like. Yeah, I haven't had one I don't like either. Yep. So, yep, right. Joseph Magnus cigar blend. Another great one is Bardstown, the four square rum finish. Yep. It's so freaking delicious. It goes fabulous, fabulous with the cigar. It's really, really good. You get that cinnamon rum spice like deliciousness on the back end, not over finished, not overly sweet, not overly dry, just very balanced and good and I like it. And I just did a review of that recently too, so. This is my favorite collaborative one since Ferrand. And we don't have any more Ferrand because I drink it all. Well, <laughs> but, because like the plantation one was good. Mm -hmm. um, what else? The, the Chateau Le Bois 2, it was good. It was good. Uh, I don't remember what else has came out. I don't know, there's been some, but I, this one definitely stuck out for me and I yep. really, really like this one. So it's good. Yep. Uh, it's good. Let's stick with the Scotch train. For you. Yep. Scotch train over here. Oh, yummy. Buna Hobbit I 12. I love this one. Sherry. It's it's just it's so good. Like 
when you talk Isla non peated I think there might be a small portion of peat, but for whiskey sake, it's non peated It's yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so insignificant. It's it's, it's, uh, it's so damn good, and so it is a crushable bottle because most scotch is what that eighty proof point. Mm -hmm. uh, nope, this one's ninety two. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, just so good. Oh, and sweet I the, honey sherry. We have the 18 mm. over here too. I, I pulled out the 12 because it's just, it's easier to find. It's it's good and it's not too expensive. Yep. I like it. It's yeah. good. So we it's need to have a pour a of that one. later too. Yeah, we might do that one. We're going to just be pouring off. Yeah, we're going to probably be pouring a lot of these later. <laughs> <laughs> See Our, what happens when you go to Mexico and you don't have a bunch of whiskey. <laughs> I should bring like the next three out all together. Um, sure, you can. Or would that be weird? Don't. Okay. Let's bring one of them. I'll bring one out. Bring <laughs> one out at a time. And that is Peerless Double Oaked. We're going to start the Double Oaked party. I am a big fan of Double Oaked. I just like the way it tastes. I like, and the three I have here, like I have three. So the three that I picked are just all very balanced, very good, not over finished, not over oaked. Just, they're so good. They taste like dessert in a glass, but also with that like oakiness and that toffee and that marshmallow and the chocolate and just really good and dark and I like them. Mm -hmm. I just like them. And this one, Peerless Double Oak is so good. I am a big fan of Peerless. If you've never been to Kentucky and you do go there to visit, go to Peerless, do a tasting, great story and delicious whiskey. Yep. So yep. And I know they always have different single barrels there when we do on the, done the tasting you can mm -hmm. pick up. I know Ryan bourbon. Oh yeah. I know a lot of people feel like um, Peerless is overpriced, but honestly, I don't agree with that. I think it's just priced for the market and it yeah. is really good. So that's my opinion. Peerless double O. Okay, last scotch one I got. Oogie. Oogadal. Our bag Oogadal. I love we, we Oogie. Can't, we can't have any scotch up, up here without some art bag. And the sherry finish on the Oogadal. I mean, it's. I could have pulled out Dark Cove and put it up here, but just. Nobody's ever going to find it. Yeah. That. Oogadal, you can find. It's their staple. You can find it stores. It's a great bottle. Uh, it, it it keeps up with Dark Cove. Not yeah. quite. Oh, yeah, but... Not quite, but it's... And, you, I mean, what are we at here with... This is a, almost a 100... It's 108.4 proof out of a scotch. Like, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it. Uh, uh, I it's, love it, it's, too. I think that's probably the second or third bottle of this we've had. I think it might be the third bottle mm -hmm. of Oogadal had just because we love it yeah it always does it's... well in blinds yeah i'm glad it's a staple that they have that isn't going away yep agreed so yep our bag oogie doll oogie doll that was the last scotch oogie 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 okay well back to the double oak train i'm going with another fantastic one and that is the sagamore double oaked i love it again just like the peerless double oaked it's perfectly balanced really good this one's a little bit sweeter because you have that sweet maryland rye deliciousness and actually so this is a double oaked rye yep and this is a double oak bourbon so that's the difference i mean they're just different this this rye is actually sweeter than the peerless double oaked bourbon so really like it good balanced and crushable especially on a camping trip it goes yeah it's really, really great camping. for camping on by the fire in the summertime if you're having a campfire bonfire yep. take it camping so eat some good. s'mores with it it goes so well with s'mores mm -hmm. and chocolate oh yes oh baby i love it <laughs> okay. well while we're on the rye train right not Midwinter's Night Dram. Ooh, this yeah. this particular one's uh, Act Nine. Um, we we love the Midwinter's Night Drams. Act Ten and the Encore were just so so. Mm -hmm. The previous batches were phenomenal. So I'm hoping once the new Act Eleven comes out this year, um, it goes back to like what Batch Nine was or some of the earlier ones. The the early ones were really good. Yeah, because we have five up there. I think it's five is the latest one we have up there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Midwinter's Night Dram, it's a phenomenal finished rye. It's great for the winter time. Great for the winter. It's great fantastic. For the winter. Drink around at Christmas and Thanksgiving and uh, enjoy it with friends and family. That's how all whiskey should yep. be done. Yep. All right, we're going to my last bottle. Oh, yep. is that your last bottle? Nope, I got this one. Okay, oh yeah. So this is my last bottle, last but not least, and that is the 2XO in Keeper's Blend. Mm -hmm. So good. Love what Dixon Deadman's doing. I love this double oaked it's so good yeah I, I just think i don't know i don't have much else to say is i love it it's balanced it's a good blend it's fantastic and i like this one more than the phoenix yeah i like it and like i cannot it. wait to try the gemma kentucky's i believe they're single barrels that he he's 
reed barrels and toasted oak toasted oak barrels mm -hmm. um I can't wait to try some of those once gonna, those come out. I can't wait either. Yep. I just can't wait to see what he keeps doing because yep. it's going to be fantastic, I think. I don't think he's going to put out a product that isn't fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I trust his palette. I trust his blending and his skills. And I'll, I'll buy it. I'm buying. I'm bought in. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> they're sold good. They're to good. the highest bidder. I was just glad we found it in Denver. <laughs> I know. And now they're selling them in Denver, which is even better. So, yeah. Love it. All right. Last but not least on the list. What list could we have without a four gate? Yeah. Four gate four by four. Oh, I love that one. So sure. we're trying to decide between Kelvin five and four by four. Um, went with the four by four because it's it is a little bit lower in proof. I think it's like 103. Oh, I love yeah, this. Yeah, 103.2. Um, this is our second bottle. This is our second bottle. This this is the only one we've gone into a second bottle of. Um, Port Perry Perry is really good too. Yeah, they're they're all really good. There's a lot of four gate finishes and they're all phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But the one we pulled down was the four gate four by four. Yeah. Just again, we love rum. <laughs> so it, rum finish it goes well so good. it goes well so yeah couldn't have a list without the 48 so that's our list now i'm curious to know what everyone else thinks like do you like finished whiskeys what are your favorite finished whiskeys do you like any of the ones we put on our list let us know what did we miss yeah we probably missed something i'm sure there's well, something we missed well and there are other bottles on our shelf that yeah. are great finishes too these are just some of our favorites we yep. could have had a list of like 20 yep. so that's what we got for you. Let us know in the comments. Leave a comment. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet. And we are so grateful for you. So thank you very much for being here. I'm Dara. I'm Bill. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.